I wasn't recording. Oh, the salt. The actual salt. What's going on, guys? It's me, Sammy Mong, and today we're back on Crowfall, just doing a bit of harvesting tool crafting, seeing what percentages I can get on the experimentation, and of course, and then taking these harvesting tools out to do a bit of gathering. I did, as you can see, do a bit of harvesting tool creation. I started off with the pickaxes. Uh, I guess before I run you through what I did just do, I might as well run you through what my plan is. What I'm trying to do is get a pickaxe with plus 30 mining. So we're going to be experimenting mainly on the grade of the pickaxe rather than the durability. Then I want to get a runestone hammer, knife and axe. Sort of vice versa to the grade but with as much durability as we can possibly do. Obviously via the skills training and my ore specialization, I've been able to get the decay rate of a runestone pick, so the durability and how much it decays away when you're harvesting. Pretty much it is down a lot more compared to say the axe, the knife and the hammer because I haven't got the relative skill training to stop the decay rate of those harvesting tools. So for the picks we're going to go for the grade because we've got the decay rate. And then for everything else, we're going to go for the durability, just so it can last as long as it possibly can. Obviously, it's going to decay a lot quicker than my pickaxes. And I started off with the pickaxes. I did manage to get myself a plus 37 mining pickaxe. It is a shame it's only got a 0 0.103 on the harvest critical chance. And then, obviously, I went to stop recording just so I could take a break and craft up a ton of uh, unmarked stone runestones so we could come back and continue on. And then realised I wasn't even recording to begin with. So yeah, that is a, a salty, hectic start to today's day and video, both for me and you guys watching at home. But yeah, I think I'm just going to continue on crafting up a ton of different unmarked stone runestones so you don't have to sit through it. Well, I'm just sitting through it now now that I'm re-explaining. And then we'll come back, craft a few more pickaxes to see if I can actually get anything better than a plus 37 I don't think I'll be able to and then we'll go on to the axes and whatnot and see what the highest durability is we can get on there potentially even a little bit more grade obviously because I've not got any training in like woodworking or skinning or whatnot a little bit more grade would also help out just with the damage to the trees and the nodes and everything so yeah I'll be back in just a second bring you along for the experimentation and see if we are blessed by the RNG percentages uh, RNG percentages, is that even a word? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I am only using poor ore, so poor silver, poor gold, and then obviously the parchment paper is the parchment paper. Uh, what is the best wood? I have no idea, my good sir. So let's go ahead. I'm, I was either doing a four pip, no, a five pip, or a six pip. Six pip kind of screwed me over. Let's see if it does it now. Yeah, I was tending to get failures most of the time. But I did get one, which obviously gave me the 37 plus. So we'll do two six pips, and then we'll do two five pips instead. Seeing as that first six pip failed and actually gave us a failure. I'm not looking forward to the next one. But let's go ahead and let's just take that, and then let's plop in more ore. There we go. Assemble. I really need to focus on my assembly or craft time, sorry, in my skill tree. Good success! Alright, so we've got a 50.74 there. Of course... The grade on the sigil doesn't really affect the mining statistic on the pick. It only affects the critical chance. So, you, you take this experimentation with a pinch of salt. I'm really aiming for the mining, not too bothered about the harvest critical chance at the moment. I just want to be able to destroy nodes, just go through them. So let's line them up there and let's plop in some more. Now let's go for the 5 pip. Moderate success, putting us up to 15, and then obviously one more pip puts us up to 16 there. Nothing too crazy. If only I could experiment one more time. Oh, I reckon with max skill trees, like once you've maxed out everything, you've maxed out your dexterity, you've maxed out your strength with the sacrifice system, you'd have loads of experimentation points over there. But I may be missing something, who knows. And then, of course, let's do one more pick sigil, and then move on to the actual products themselves. Should we do it? Should we do it with one more? Oh, oh, only a standard success. Uh, uh, it's better than failing. It's better. Critical failure. Oh, I know it was only on a one pip of durability. But come on. Uh, where's my dust? There we go. Right. This is what we are looking for. We are looking for a plus 37.005. Even if it just beats this other one by two points. Ah, oh, only a standard success, it hurts. It's like a dagger to the heart every time. 
All right, let's chuck in the next one. Oh, I'm longing out. There we go. And whoop. great success. 37.036 sound. All right, so that is two plus 37 picks that we've managed to get out of poor or resources. All right, so I'm trying to save up the common ones here just so I can use common, uncommon, and anything better than that for weapons and armor. And if I'm getting plus 37s on poor ore, I don't know if the type of ore affects the, ex the amount of uh, experimentation points you get, or like the base stats for a pickaxe, like, that's coming out as poor, but this one's come out as common. See what I mean? So I'm not sure, but we're getting some decent statistics, even with the lowest quality of ore. So we're going to stick with it. Moderate success, we've got a, an alright one there, 15, a good backup one, always failing on the durability. It's always that last little pip. There we go. I wonder if you can get like a plus 50 one. That'd be insane. Can you imagine? Alright. Last pickaxe. And then we move on to the max durability. What's the average durability of these anyways? 217, 227 there. Durability of course will be affected by the runestone durability as well. Just a little bit I presume. And then of course the sigil. But yeah. We're getting 218s, 217s. The highest one we've seen there was 227. 222, 220, so it's averaging from like 216, round it up at 215, to like say 225, so there's like 10 in it, which is fair enough, but let's run experiment on that, ah, oh, the last pickaxe, and it failed, that is of course the worst pickaxe you could possibly get, is when you fail the grade, because even an intermediate pickaxe has mining of plus 10, it just doesn't have the max durability or the harvest critical chance on it. So if you're really, really being picky, you could just make a ton of intermediate pickaxes, but I don't think that would be worth your time, like, whatsoever. So let's chuck all of them down there. It will be them two here that we are keeping, because they are the plus 37s. I am, I am r rather proud. Round of applause. We managed to pull something off. At least we got two, so I don't have to come back tomorrow and try and get another one. But now I'm going to go ahead and create up two axe rules, and then, of course... Uh, Two sho oh shovel no two knives and two hammers because I'm I'm not I'm not doing necromancy at the moment it's, I'm more aiming to just setting up my characters getting the weapons on the go and trying out classes so yeah we'll leave the shovels for the minute we'll get into necromancy at some point let's just go for max grade <gasps> great success fifty seven percent look at that harvest critical chance zero point one two five da oh <laughs> Bruh, why did I go for max grade? I was actually just telling myself I needed durability. And I've just gone for max grade. Okay, okay, alright. Alright, let's do another one and we'll do max durability after. How annoying. There we go, let's chuck in this one. Alright, let's not go for max grade. Alright, let's just do one by one durability like we always do. Getting some good successes, great success there. And another great success. And then we do a 1. So we've got a 26. 95 durability on the sigil. Whereas that's only 75 durability on the sigil. Interesting. Will we be looking at a harvesting tool of like 300 durability maybe? Even more? Not quite sure. Alright, so there's the two axes. Let's get the two hammers on the go. Should we do one grade, one durability? Just to see what we can get. Moderate success there. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do one pickaxe grade, one pickaxe durability. Alright, that was the grade one. That didn't turn out all that well, to be honest with you. But now let's go ahead and do the durability. And, of course, the last two being the knives. Let's chuck them in. One of them being durability uh, grade. Oh, critical failure. I think that's basically going to be a throwaway knife, like, literally. I'm just going to have to sacrifice it. I feel mean. I can't use that knife. I actually can't use that sigil. We're just gonna have to do the knife one again. I'm sorry. I can't get a critical failure. It's just this. This. What's the. What's the point? It's terrible. It's actually terrible. On the sigil bit as well. The sigil. Oh. Right. Now let's do another knife. <laughs> Look at all my fail. We've got two failed sigils at the moment. Right. Let's do another knife, but for durability. All right. There we go. What percentages are we gonna get on this one? Doesn't look like anything too comparable at the moment. Max of uh, 14.15.47, sorry. Alright, let's chuck that in there. And then let's actually make up these last six harvesting tools. 
And then at least I've got myself a nice set, especially seeing as I've got two 37 pickaxes to go harvesting with tomorrow. And then hopefully come back the next day with uh, making a green weapon. Potentially a cleric's hammer or a Mirrodon's axe. Do they even use an axe still? Like, I'm not quite sure. Because I've done the champion's axe. If you haven't already, be sure to go check that out. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Next weapon is... I don't know. I'm not quite sure. But let's go for the great... Oh, wait. 0 0.125. This is the one with the better grade. Oh! Oh, it actually hurts. It hurts. You know when you get butterflies in your stomach. Oh, why? Oh, fair enough. I don't know what more I can say. Alright, there's one axe. Um, let's chuck in another one. Let's just go for the durability. I should never have gone for grade. Why did I fool myself? And we've got a max of 23%. 259 durability. Eh, is all I can really say to that. It's going to take a while to log. Actually is, just because it's not got plus 10 like the intermediate. But then it won't run out quite as much. So, when I'm running around doing all of my mining, I won't have to keep creating intermediate pickaxes. Or axes, or basic axes, stuff like that. It will actually last the, the harvesting trip. So to say. But let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, next. Let's go for one grade. And then another grade. It needs to be above 10. Have I done it, have I done it wrong here? Uh, anyone that's watching at home. What do you do? Do you do durability? Do you make sure your statistics are always above 10. And then do the rest on durability. Which I think I'm going to have to do on the rest. Just so I'm, just so I'm like... At least at the same level as an intermediate harvesting tool. I think that's what it's gonna be. So let's go ahead and chuck in the dust. Let's get a two pip on that. Oh wow. See a two pip on that even doesn't even a two pip only pushes it up by by one, depending on what percentage is it. Well, at least we've got we've done a bit of experimenting ourselves on what to do and what not to do when creating your harvesting tools. Uh, going with that same uh, example, a two pip will potentially push it above ten, or a three pip. Only a success will only push it up by like one. So you're you're, you're like uh, you're betting on trying to get more than a good or worse success, like. Like that, you're betting on getting a great success to push up the skinning or the statistic of whatever harvesting tool you're trying to create above 10 to match the intermediate harvesting tool. And then, of course, you can just put the rest into durability to make it last longer. My initial plan of trying to make it all durability, I'm, I, I, eh, don't stick with it. Please don't go with that. I wouldn't suggest it, but guys, if you want to see more banterous crafting with just the experimentation and whatnot, be sure to leave a uh, like and a comment down below of what you want to see, whether it be more rune tools, weapons, have been getting more comments about necromancy, I will get into it once I get myself a gathering buddy. Did that not let me experiment? It didn't, did it? I've been mugged, I've actually been mugged. On that note, guys, if you've enjoyed, yeah, be sure to get involved down below. Check out my Amazon store in the description down below as well for great gamer gifts. And until next time, thanks, and I shall see you in the next video. Yep, literally didn't even let me experiment on it. Mugged. Actually got mugged.